In today's nail school, what I'm gonna be doing is going over some fundamentals of SmileLine application. Show you guys uh, consistency, what to look for, how to get the bead to run from cuticle to free edge. Let's get right into this. And again, it doesn't matter whether they're working with a coarse bead, is getting the right consistency. So if you submerse your brush, right, and, you, and what I mean by that is if it's too dry, like if, if you submerse your brush and pull out way too much liquid and then hold your brush in the surface of the powder, I don't care what you work with. If you're getting it really dry, oops, if you're getting it really dry, and again, holding it in the surface is not good because what ends up happening, as you can see, is you get like really dry in one end. And not only that, when you go ahead and set it down, the biggest problem is getting it to run from this point to this point, um, right, with the least amount of effort. All right, so what I want to show you is if I was working with a nail like this and I was going to do, say, a natural overlay, what I want to be able to do is pick um, three points, the corners, which are the top of the smile and the center where the bead is going to run down to. So... If I submerse my brush and I get a lot of liquid and I tap and I bounce one, two, three, four, right? And I hold the bead one, two, three, four. And around the five count, I go ahead and I set this down and release. I'm immediately going to be able to walk around the perimeter of the nail quite fast, really focusing on trying to get it tight. And then you'll notice the slow run. If I decided that I wanted to lightly tap the center of the bead to kind of bring it down, it'll leave the ears high. This is going to give me enough room to wedge out my brush. That way I can tuck the corners back, right? tuck the corners back. And if I have to hold the center in play, I would be able to do that, right? So... You know, for those of you guys struggle at doing reverse application, it's either because you're working with it too wet or too dry. You want to be able to get a consistency where it runs slow. That way you're going to be able to control the run, right? So take your time, you know, juggle the smile line back. And you can see if I'm looking at it from a bird's eye view, right? If I get my brush and I get a wedge, you can see how I'm holding my brush and kind of zoom out, right? I'm holding my brush like this. This is going to give me an ability to take that wedge and just lightly kind of tuck it back, tuck it back, tuck it back to get it super tight around that corner. And then here on this side, balance my finger and then use that to tuck it back, right? Now, if, it, if you're at a point, you can see looking down the barrel that I've gotten a nice even thickness from side to side, right? It's not too thin on the side. The biggest mistake that a lot of beginners make is they do this. They get it like this and they end up pushing this side way too thin. I'll show you. So like notice the difference between notice the difference between that side and this side right here. This side is not going to do well. Even like from the top and like if I was to take my brush and try to make this super even from the side, the problem is, is the wall, as you can see, is really thin on that section. It needs to be even. We need to have kind of the same thickness that's running from, from the center all the way to the corner, right? That way, when you end up doing your smile or filing your smile out, you have enough room and you're not going to get shadows in the corner. Okay. Wanted to get on here real fast, kind of show you some tips and tricks when it came to doing some reverse application. Really appreciate uh, you guys tuning in uh, to nail school today and you guys have a wonderful day. Peace. And I bounce one, two, three, four.